The One Health concept recognizes that human health is connected to the health of animals and the environment, therefore it requires cooperation by all government stakeholders, says the Deputy Secretary Brown Konabe. The One Health assessment tool is a vital instrument for promoting health and well-being of our communities. It is through our collective efforts and commitment to One Health approach that we can build a resilient and sustainable future. The U.S. aid acting health officer Lisa Kramer said they prioritize One Health. Within USAID, we take a One Health commitment much more broadly than human health. USAID has, um, in PNG in particular, over the past five years, invested over $50 million in environment and biodiversity in PNG and climate-related activities. When opening the session, the FAO PNG head of office said, the FAO One Health Assessment Tool is an innovative tool that is being used to monitor the health process and to monitor One Health progress and to assess and evaluate outcomes and operational levels. Increasing risk of genetic diseases and antimicrobacterial resistance underscores the urgent need for a coordinated cross-sectoral response. The introduction of the FAO One Health Assessment Tool represents a significant step forward in our efforts to enhance this coordination. Deputy Secretary for Health, can we encourage all to look after their health? We want to tell you that uh, we only have 16,000 or 11,000 frontline health workers. We don't have all the uh, health workers to fix you when you get sick, so you stand in the line and queue. We don't have enough doctors. One is to 17,000. Nurse one is to 2,000. So don't blame us. Everyone, please don't uh, chew amoxicillin like you're chewing gum. Uh, because amoxicillin is becoming the miracle drug, so um, it's not supposed to be sold in the marketplace, in the streets. Other drugs must not be sold out there. Estagane, National MTV News. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.